Hey, what's good in my medallions? As y'all can tell, uh, we're not in the studio today. You know what I'm saying? We're in the green room, you know, my living room, you know. I'm about to give y'all an honest review, you know what I'm saying? Not biased or nothing. I'm not sponsored by LA Film School nor Winston Salem, you know what I'm saying? It's not even my jacket, it's just real comfortable. But look, I'm gonna give y'all my honest opinion because clearly y'all might be interested in the school, whether or you already went and you just want to see how other students had, you know what I'm saying, what type of time I had at the school as I was there online. So, first I'm gonna start off this video by giving y'all a little backstory of what LA Film School is. If y'all not familiar with the school or where it came from. LA Film School was founded back in 1999 by a bunch of Hollywood peak goers and uh, they were just real passionate about music. So they founded this school that year and they had the official ceremony August of that year. And then now we here, you know what I'm saying? Now we here. So I don't know if you, let me know down below. Are y'all looking to go online or y'all looking to go on to the campus? Cause I want to hear some of y'all on campus. You know what I'm saying? college experiences because I, you know what I'm saying, I had to go online just because I was so far. But my online experience, I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna let y'all know how it is right after this. Now, I'm about to get into my online experience at LA Film School, y'all. It's been a long time coming. I just graduated uh, about two months ago. Two to three months ago, I just graduated from there. Now, I know y'all like online, it's like, it's, it's something serious. If you're scared to do online, you should be a little afraid, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you not organized and you don't have that self-determination drive to be like, hey, I'm gonna get up, do my work, handle my business, go to work, whatever else you gotta do in your life. Now, it's a big thing for time management, you know what I'm saying, organization, and just prioritizing everything that just falls into the same category. But it's like real important that you make sure that you put your school before anything, because it's so easy to forget a school that's online. So let me tell y'all a couple things that come with the school and the tuition. I'm gonna tell y'all about the tuition and all that stuff. So you're gonna get a MacBook Pro, that's number one. You're gonna get a Scarlet interface so that you can, you know what I'm saying, put your mic, connect your mic and everything to your MIDI board or whatever, whatever. You're gonna get a MIDI board, also a keyboard, so that you can make your beats or whatever. Then on top of that, you're gonna get you a little mic. I forgot what's the specific mic, but it's a decent little mic. I still use it. I'm gonna upgrade, but it's something that's good to start off with. Then what else you gonna get? Uh, oh, you're gonna get like different softwares, of course, that you're gonna need to go through the course. So you're gonna get them codes so you can download and get the courses with that. And it's gonna come up to a grand total of 30 something thousand dollars. Now, I know y'all like, uh, that's a lot of money because as I've been looking up different stuff, I realized that's double what any other type of music production school would even charge for a music production uh, degree. You know what I'm saying? That's just for your associates. Now, with the associates, it's two years, but it's real. It's, it's two quick years, not two 24-month years. It's two quick years, like, I'm going to say, hey. I don't know, because my first semester was actually a full year, and then my next semester, it felt like seven months, eight months. It wasn't a whole entire year. But, you know what I'm saying? You can get your fast food course if you can get any financial help. Definitely look into that, because I was able to do my prior military experience. I could get help, thankfully. That was a blessing. So, if you can't get any financial help, they definitely accept financial aid. It is a private school, uh, but... Hopefully, that's why I'm wearing this Winston jacket. I'm trying to transfer my credits to Winston. I'm gonna see how that go. If y'all want a separate video on that, let me know. I just applied today, so we are gonna see. I'm trying to get in Winston, y'all. Trying to ball. But, you know, my overall experience, other than, you know, of course, just day-to-day -day grinding, making sure you're on your computer, doing the courses, making your beats or whatever. 
that they have you do for that course you know so it just overall was a good experience i'm gonna have to say i'm gonna have to give the school a rating of damn honestly i'm gonna have to just give it a 10 just because of the simple fact the teachers were pretty good uh, I'm gonna have to give it a 9.8 just because some of the teachers was boring but most of the teachers were really good teachers and you could tell they love what they do but my thing only is it's just that monotone voice especially when you're already online and you're just talking in the nah, 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 nah. like nobody want to hear that you know what I'm saying so I just, I just like more excited talkers as long as you can talk and keep me engaged on the computer and I can just make my beats that's all I really wanted to do but most of your teachers, you're going to find, they're going to want to stay in contact with you. You can also, of course, stay in contact with them and work with them off, off campus, offline. So that's a good thing. I still have a lot of their phone numbers. I'm going to get in contact with them when I need to. But I'm going to definitely have to recommend this school. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by them. They ain't paying me to say none of this. But I definitely would recommend, if you could, go to this school, y'all, because the quality of learning, it just... It's a good quality. <laughs> I know I'm talking simple, but it's just, it's like, it's simple. All you want to do is, if you go, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking for the music producer. I can't speak for any other course that they have there, but if you just go on for music production, you just want to know your, you know what I'm saying, your little things that you need help with, then you should go there. Because with me, I already listened to a lot of music, so all I really wanted to understand was the technical side of producing and so that I can make my own, start off making my own stuff. But y'all let me know. <laughs> if y'all think it was a good school, y'all go back and listen to my old stuff and listen to my, my new stuff now since I've been in the course. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, that's my overall review on Carol, uh, that's about to say Carolina. <laughs> Got dang LA Film School, y'all, so just... Take me into consideration now. I've been in there for a couple years. I was thinking about going back and finishing, but I'm not about to spend, uh, spend no more money. That's too much money, but if you can afford it, do what you got to do, y'all. But that's my overall review. Thank y'all for watching. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. What was y'all experience and what do you expect and people in your family have that have been going there say? Because they said that they have a 50% graduation rate. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. And then they only got about 5,600 people that go there. So, hey, if you know somebody that went there, y'all let me know. Peace.